Chef, I represent the good people of Buruku. My dear colleagues, I'm from Penrose State. Mr. Speaker, when the leader was speaking, he started by saying that we were all on the same page. But as he, as he began to speak, it was obvious that that was not true. He said, we're taking over the powers of the court. We are not. The truth of the matter is that the subject matter is about INEC's power to declare election inconclusive. Yes, they have guidelines. Yes, they have the Electoral Act. I'm not, I'm not here to say we should take completely the powers of INEC to declare elections inconclusive. I think what is at stake yes. is the political use to which the INEC is putting these powers. You have similar circumstances, INEC will announce elections. In another instance, given the same set of facts, INEC will declare elections inconclusive. I think that is what is, has raised the fears of Nigerians. Yes. Certainly, the powers of the, 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 the independence of INEC has been called to question because of the use to which they are putting these powers to. Mr. Speaker, like uh, has been said before, the coalition officer, the, uh, the returning officer, has absolutely no power to cancel even one vote, even one vote at their own level. The votes can be canceled at the polling unit level. And maybe at the local government coalition uh, level. Certainly not the returning officer. But that is what you have. So you have a, a returning officer because he's acting out a script, would cancel, add, subtract, and declare somebody, uh, 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 you know, as the winner, or decide to, 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 in this case, as we are discussing, decide to declare an election inconclusive. Those are the issues at stake. And we can't, we can't run, so even as we debate and try to figure out how the, uh, the next electoral uh, uh, document should come out like, we should take into, into, into consideration the fact that INEC's discretion in the matter is completely faulty. That is not for the court to determine, because no matter what you do, if you give INEC the power to hold the election to determine who is a winner, they have to come to some level of discretion. And what is at stake now is that the discretion has been completely abused. Has been completely abused. I don't know to what extent the amendment of the law will resolve this. But it's to appeal to this because first we have to determine one thing. How can I next official, or in this case, the returning officers that have been drafted to conduct the election, how can your mic is on. We can they hear you from here. flout the law? And we are, asked to, we are asked to keep quiet in that instance. It is not right. So, I agree entirely with this motion that the election, as, especially as in the instance of the six states where in elections have been conducted and declared uh, inconclusive, there are a lot of things that caught. Uh, let me cite my home state of Benue. Because I think the, the, the name Balom should be in the national consciousness because that is where two priests and 17 uh, parishioners were killed. You know, without being told that, you know how the people from that locality will vote. And then you come because you want to, 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 to allow the election to come out in a certain, you go and disrupt the election only to come back and try to benefit from that circumstance. So when you sit in, in, in the state capital of, of Makodi and try to take decisions, you know, based on something that was deliberately set out to achieve by, by, by agents of darkness, People will question that. People will question that. So, Mr. Speaker, I'm on all fours with the, with the move of this motion and the prayers that have been sought. Thank you.